hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech so i am using the cyberios latest build from my last video you can check that from the icard video on the 29th may evolution x got the major upgrade 6.4 omega version today in this video i will tell you the full chain log overview of new build battery life details stability and the performance check and finally i also done the small review of the gaming performance of this rom on the bgmi you need to download the new zip from the link given under the video description, download and flash it over TWRP. You can check the right side iCard video for the detailed flashing process. If you are already on the Evolution X, then download the package via local OTA and flash it. Or you can also flash the zip via TWRP without wiping data. So all the things are done here. Now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. As I clean flash the ROM, after first boot I need to go through the setup process. So setup has been completed, let's check the about phone details for the new build. This is the same Android 12.1 with the same material you easter egg clock. This is the Evolution X 6.4 Omega build with the amazing easter egg of Evolution X ROM. This build has the same security patch of old ROM which is on the 5th May 2022. ROM has the same old kernel Evolution X plus 4.9.227 which is built with the latest Clank toolchain. This ROM is built on the 29th May 2022 by the awesome developer Anerim Bliss. Let's check what new features or the addition that has been done in the new update. If we go to the settings and the display, we get the pocket mode detection toggle which disables all the hardware keys and blocks the screen when the phone is in the pocket. This new pocket mode is added from the OnePlus Oxygen OS sources. Now developers added the Google Lens in the screenshot menu so we can do Google Lens search for the any screenshot which is the convenient feature. Similar to the now playing feature of the Google who gets the another awesome feature like the sound search who get this style under the quick setting panel. Whenever you hear your favorite song around you then tap this style it will detect that song and play it on your device. Only limitation is that we need to manually do the search process which happens automatically for the now playing on the lock screen. In the Evolver tab under the miscellaneous setting we get the new game space which has some advanced features like if you add the games manually in the game space we get the default gaming modes to set for the game. Use angle is the another toggle it has some graphics drivers which will be used instead of original driver but it's the experimental feature. If you play the game, you get the small overlay for the game space which has the new games mode like the standard, battery and the performance. They added the new lock screen gesture tab to avoid the accidental touches. Show FPS overlay tab is also available here. Heads up and the stay awake are the another tabs which are already available from the old version. I will do the BGMI gaming performance test at the end using the new gaming mode so stay till the end of the video. Now in the new update they brought back the screen of animation like the CRT and the scale but remember if you use the screen of animations we didn't get the Android 12 new ripple unlock animations. In the evolver and under the quick setting tab we get the new customizations for the clear all button for the notification panel. ROM has the new slider type setting to change the button style and the button background. Here are some amazing new clear all button styles. Similarly, they brought back the new whole icons which can be changed on the go without rebooting the device using the new slider setting. Now let's do the performance test of the new update when I ran the Geekbench test I got 495 for the single core and 1940 for the multi core. Both of these cores are pretty decent and constant from last old build that we were tested. On the open gel drivers I got double to 48 which is also very good score and slightly more than the average results for the open gel drivers of OnePlus 6. Asna Septinet chat got successfully passed as usual but still we are waiting for the L1 wide one security patch because here we will still get the L3 security level on the new build. Let's do the gaming test for the highly addictive game BGMI by actually playing the game so we guess the clear answer that this ROM has potential to handle this game or not. I enabled the high performance mode in the game space setting. I also enabled the overlay for the game FPS so we can constantly check FPS for the game. I disabled all the swipe gestures in the game graphics setting ultra HD mode still not supported for our device so I kept it at HDR and the frame rate at ultra mode. 
while playing game feels more smoother with the amazing graphics but at the start of the game fps was lower between 20 to 30 but later it was stable between 30 to 40 but i felt some heating at the back panel so my recommendation to play the game at the balance mode to avoid the overheating amazing thing is that most of the apps remains in the memory along with the bgmi so rom is pretty solid for the playing the high-end games because it maintains the fps at a higher level most of the time new gaming mode like the performance and the balance mode helps to improve the gaming experience so it's definitely a best gaming rom along with the Sabria and the awaken OS. so how is the battery life i am using this rom from the last two days and surely you will get the five to six hours of sot with the full day battery uses for the average user on the new battery but if you are a gamer who loves to play the games whole the day then you need to charge the device at least two times within 24 hours of cycle one new feature that you get here is the new battery charge warning we can set the different warning notification sounds and the battery percentage warning level using a slider so this is all about the new evolution x rom which is one of the finest rom for the oneplus 6 and the 60 which has the best performance, amazing customizations, better battery life, and the obviously amazing gaming experience. That's it guys for today. If you think I helped you, please do like and share this video, subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.